Today on BRS TV, we have our seventh episode of our Neptune Apex series. In this episode, we're going to give a brief tour of the new cloud-based fusion configuration tool. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to explore the new fusion interface Neptune has created. We'll show you how the new display works, check out the new input log and graphs, do some sample outlet programming, and check out the new authorization tool. This stuff is great, but I think the biggest gain is in networking and email setup. At the end of this demo, we'll take this feature that basically everyone would like to use, but was a major pain in the butt to set up previously, is now ridiculously easy. At its heart, Fusion is just a simpler, easier way to program your Apex, monitor your tank, access the information from anywhere, and set up alerts that go to your phone or email. If you're familiar with the old browser-based setup, the home page to Fusion won't be all that foreign to you. Still displays your tank's temp, pH, ORP, power usage, salinity, switch statuses, and all of your outlets and profiles, as well as the ability to trigger or cancel feed mode. It's super easy to change the layout of how the information is displayed. Just hit the unlock button and drag all the items that you're not using or don't need to see into the gray area. You can also move things around based on how you want to see them. Once you're done, just hit the unlock button again and make sure that it's closed. What's nice is the display is dynamic, so it can be viewed on phones and tablets just as easily. You can see here that it turns into a nice single column on an iPhone, which is easy to navigate. Also super easy to use on an iPad. Selecting the input log button shows you an updated graphs page. While the old graph page suited its purpose and wasn't bad, the new fusion-based graphs are much more attractive and functional. Selecting the period you want to look at is much easier by simply sliding the bar. Expanding the range you want to look at is also as simple as grabbing one end of the range and dragging it until you have the range you're looking for. Stacking things like pH and ORP in the same graph is also easy. Overall, the graphs area is significantly improved. If you've programmed the Apex outlets using the older utility, you'll see it's pretty similar here. Find the outlet you want to program and hit the small settings gear next to it. This will open the configuration screen for this outlet. In this case, I want to make it a heater outlet, so I'll select heater, and it gives me the appropriate options for a heater. Setting the fallback to off means if the energy bar ever lost connection to the Apex base module, it would default to off, which is what we'd want with a heater. We'll select the correct available probe, which in this case is temp, and then select the on-off temperatures settings we want for the heater, and then send to Apex. A progress bar is displayed, and moments later the Apex has been updated. It's really impressive how quickly the system responds. There's some available presets for lights, pumps, chillers, pH control, ORP control, and the feeder. There's also an advanced tab for those of you that are looking to program some more advanced options. There's also a nice authorization tool which allows you to give others access to your tank, which is nice if you're on vacation or away for some reason. You can set it to just allow them to view the tank, control it, program it, or even allow them to create other users as well. They can also receive the same email or text alerts as you. This is pretty nice because you can safely put the monitoring of your tank in the hands of other reefers like someone in your local reef club rather than a friend who might not know anything about aquariums. So we saved the best for last, the ability to access your tank via your mobile phone, remote PC or tablet, and get email or text alerts is something everyone wants from their controller. With the previous configuration tool, this was more complex than it was worth for many people, or they had issues getting it to work. That just isn't the case now, absolutely anyone could do this. So you want to see your Apex from your phone, tablet, or PC anywhere in the world? Well, all you need to do is log into Fusion and there it is. No more network setup BS. If you can figure out how to enter your username and password in the login screen, you can access your Apex from anywhere in the world. Want to set up email alerts? Pretty much just as easy. Under your username, select settings and notification, and there's a list of recipients you can add to get a text message or email anytime an email alarm is triggered. Click add recipient, email or SMS text message, and your email or cell phone number, and it's done. You'll now be notified of any issues that occur with your tank based on the alarms you set up. Setting up the alarms is as easy as going back to your outlets and selecting the gear next to the outlet labeled email alarm. By default, there's already one set up based on temp. You could also write in some commands about pH, ORP, water level, leaks, really all kinds of ideas which ultimately will save your home or tank someday. One last note is they're also introducing really cool interfaces that get away from the complexity of setting up profiles and long threads of advanced code, like this one for setting up your Vortec pumps. If you have any questions about Neptune's new Apex Fusion or advice for other reefers, check out the comments area down below. If this is your first time with us, hit that subscribe button because we do this every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.